U.S. Congressman Michael Burgess, Republican from Texas. He's also the longest serving doctor, physician in the Congress. Uh, Congressman Burgess, thanks for coming on. What is your thanks philosophy? For to give me your philosophy about health care in the federal government. Do you, well, let's take it from the left. Do you support Bernie Sanders' idea, and a lot of people do, that health care is a right that the government has to deliver on? And if not, what is your philosophy about the role of the federal government in health care? Well, look, uh, health care, from the perspective of a physician, it's, uh, it's a responsibility. It's a responsibility each of us has to each other, to our families. Uh, the state control of health care actually makes so much more sense from perspective because I got to tell you Chris when I go over across the street to the Hubert Humphrey building and it's so big and so massive and the bureaucracy is so intense it's almost impossible to ever get anything done it's impossible for the average person to actually inter interface with that uh, with that federal well, we agency off. so we, it, it, we needs to, it needs to be at the local level well, were we better From off a before Obama? Were we better off with it before Obamacare was established? Were we better off? And I don't think there's any questions that we were. The the issue for me on the Affordable Care Act. Well, that's not. I'm things... just trying to get to the legislation. Why don't we go back to that? If you believe we're better off without Obamacare, why doesn't your party just vote for repeal so we go back to the way it was in this country before Obamacare was passed? No, why don't you just know. do that? And, and you know that was passed in the House and the Senate, December of 2015. The Senate, uh, 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 the president at the time vetoed the legislation. When yeah. I talked to people back home in Texas in the month of December, when I talked to my counterparts in the state Senate, state House, uh, I suggested this is what you need to look to because this is likely what's going to happen as soon as the new Congress is sworn in. As, well, why uh, do it as, then? Why well, didn't you do it? You as, said you're going to do as, it. You voted as, 50 as sometimes. You know, as you know, Chris, there were uh, conservative members. The chairman of the Freedom Caucus said you've got to repeal and replace. The president said you've got to repeal and replace. Moderate members said you had to repeal and replace. Our committee worked uh, very, very diligently on getting that bill delivered. We did indeed deliver it in the middle of April. Finally got passed on the floor of the House the 1st of May. Uh, I don't know why it took so long for the Senate to take it up. I wish they had done their work earlier, but they it's didn't. Dead. And, now, and now we are where we are. I don't, I don't completely agree with you there. I do think it is important that Leader McConnell bring this up for a vote on the floor of the Senate. I think people need to see which senators are okay with uh, with keeping Obamacare and which senators wish to repeal Obamacare. That will be revealed when he has his motion What will to be proceed. accomplished if you get a vote on the floor of the Senate, which has 100 members, 52 Republicans, if you have a vote and you get a count less than 50 for straight repeal, what will that do to the senators who have to run for re-election who are Republicans who voted for straight repeal? Do you think they'll be okay? Well, I think that's going to be difficult for them, and, and I think that has to be part of the calculation. And maybe when that day actually dawns, maybe they will consider an alternate strategy. But that's the, uh, I mean, that, Chris, this is too important to do in a press release. This has to be on the floor of the Senate. Put your card in. Well, I guess they don't do that, but you have to be recorded yes or no. People need to know where you are. Do you believe health care is a right? No, Chris, I told you it's a responsibility and it's a responsibility uh, to each of us. No, is it a, is it a right other. like is it a right like uh, life or is it a right like the right to bear arms? Is it a right like any right in the Bill of Rights? Do you have a right to health care provided by the federal government? You have a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Okay. Not health. Chris, look, I'm a physician. Uh, Someone has a right, that means you, you, you take my skills and, and my, the, the fruits of my labor. I mean, that is, that is what you're telling me. And I'm no, just asking. I'm not correct. telling you anything. I, I want correct. to know where you stand. I want I'm to know where you where I stand. Want... It is a responsibility that people have to have the, pe to have the provision for taking care of their, of their health and their family's health. Okay, thank you so much. U.S. Congressman